Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at George Toys officially licensed Warhammer 40k Ultramarines Primaris Lieutenant Amulus. This is an adult collector, 118 scale, and recommended for ages 15 and above. Here's a box that comes in, nice black box. All we're going to figure the Warhammer logo looks pretty good. Here's a look at the top of the box. Here's a look at the bottom of the box. Mine kind of got damaged in the mail. Here's the side of the box. Other side of the box. Here's a look at the back of the box. Shows the uh, product images. A uh, very large one with all the accessories. The alternate head applied. Smaller ones front to back and close up of the chest. Helmeted head sculpt. Looks pretty good. Content statement. All the good stuff. Let's see how he's packaged. And there's a look at him in a clam shell. And he does come with this trading card. Looks pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of thin card stock. Um, that's the name here at the bottom. The back. Mostly Chinese with the uh, Warhammer logo at the top. So let's go ahead and get him outside that clam shell and check him out. Alright, here he is. Looking awesome. I love the blue. I like the helmet sculpt. It's fantastic. We got the red eyes and we got the white and the red stripe on his head with the iron skull there on his forehead. Looks pretty nice. Kind of like a racing stripe for an ultramarine. It's pretty cool. There's some silver here on the side, cylinder and some tubing. Black fin on the front, head does rotate 360. Then you can have a little bit of silver on the back. Side to side, front and back, decent. Here on the collar piece, we have those studs just above the skull and wings, which is awesome. This pauldron has a insignia on it, just painted on with a gold trim around the pauldron, as well as this one with the Ultramarine logo. Going downward, he does have those two bones in the box hanging from his belt. We have his PVC voice piece here very stiff pistol case with the grip black with the parity seal here on the back we have a couple of pouches in a cylinder pretty good here on his gauntlet we do have the golden 3d sculpted skull on there and on this gauntlet we have a purity seal just over the top of his hand down here at his knees we have the ultra machine logo painted white for the kneecap do have this really cool Symbol here. It's good. Nothing on the other leg to see. Um, so there's the front of him, obviously. It's pretty good. I mean, it's like a build out your army of named characters. Side view, the back, other side, top, bottom, all kind of angles for you to check out. Looks awesome. From his feet. So let's finish taking a look at his articulation. It's a set V2 body, so this is strapped on, not much movement. Bicep rotation, double jointed elbows. The hands rotate 360 down and up, in and out, and all around and in between. Here on the chest, it does have, you can look back. Right down 360 rotation at the waist here everything staying on we have this kind of not too much of a split going on that way either um, thigh swivel double joint knees feet uh, kind of uh, pivot down and up side to side tail articulation looks good the standard articulation um, hindered Hindrance on the articulations varied from V1 to V2 body and the accessories, of course. But nonetheless, he's pretty cool. Hands are super stiff because it's the V2 body, so we're not going to be able to put his weapons in his hands at this time without heating them because you risk breaking his hands. All right, so we took a look at his helmet sculpt. Let's take a look at his alternate head and the helmet head. It's pretty cool. We have some service studs on his forehead. Like middle-aged guy. Silver there, we have the back of the helmet applied in the sculpt. It's pretty good. We don't get an extra ball bell joint, which is unfortunate. So we have to use the one that's currently on the figure to swap it out. I recommend you have to heat that to get that work to work anyway. 
So it looks pretty good. You get the idea. You have options. And options with our figures is great. Um, so weapons, we'll start out with getting a lot of swords lately. Do have this sword. We have this skull here with no jaw. And bottom red handle. Same for the skull there, just kind of like a cross piece. Power node to the metal blade to the silver at the top. Looks pretty cool. Uh, shorter than most, but this is not too bad. Still proper size. So it looks really good. Both sides. So taking a look at the, uh, his weapon. Here's his case you can swap out. Which is kind of weird because if, uh, he put this in his hand, swapped this out. So it's like he's drawing his pistol. But this is two things. Like it's kind of two different cases. It's open on his side versus outside. And they're purity so. So you kind of lose the overall realism if that's the case you're going for. Remove a clip on the gun. It's pretty good. Golden shells. Got a metal in color with the black. Drilled in the front. Drilled in the side. Looks pretty decent. There we have the power pack with the ultramarines on the top. Spikes. Silver. Gun metal. Looks good. It's very sharp, so be careful here. Definitely very perky. Silver on the back. Here. Silver vents. Silver studs. You just want to apply this. Be very careful with these pins. They do break. If you're not careful. And that was actually tall. It's pretty good. So good. We can actually demonstrate that. So that's how that looks right there. Looks awesome. Here are our extra hands we got. We have a gripping hand. We have the pointing hand. Two fingers. Looks pretty good. Open hand. It's pretty cool. And we have a fist to hand. I keep dropping these hands. They're kind of small. Hard to hold on to. I'm trying to show them. Yeah, so that's about the accessories you get. Not too bad. Cool figure. No really the hindrance on the uh, articulation because of the diversion of the uh, buck they're using. But it's pretty cool. You definitely add uh, a wide on your army with the named character. So I recommend him. He's cool. No issues besides at least the uh, normal P2 body issues. So hope you guys liked this review. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in our next review.